What up, guys? Welcome to YouTube.com slash Gooperatives. I hope that you guys are doing well today. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new Tenocon items that you will be able to get uh, at the digital ticket if you cannot actually forward to go to Tenocon. But uh, first, uh, remember you guys can catch us at twitch.tv slash cooperatives. That's where we produce most of our normal content. And of course, if you enjoy this video, consider going to patreon.com slash cooperatives, throwing us a few bucks, getting some videos a little bit early, and so much more. But guys, without further ado, let's hop on in over here. Let's take a quick look at uh, the the new items you can get obviously with the digital pack uh, you can get several things this digital pack is available April 3rd so we're getting it a little bit early as Warframe partners so that you guys can see some of that stuff and make that judgment call whether you should get it or not whether it is worth it so for $20 USD you get 370 plat a Tenocon armor set it's exclusive uh, Tenocon glyph sigil display art and a Tenocon relay key and what that is going to allow you to do is uh, get access Access to borrow Katir. We will be offering every single item they've ever sold, and uh, you know I wonder if that means target cracker. <laughs> so, um, without further ado, guys, I already have Excal on here. Uh, my Excal rocking the Haro stance, uh, but he uh, right now this is some of the Tenocon 2018 armor on the shoulders, on the chest, right there, looking pretty fly. There is no Cyandana though. There's no Cyandana, so you know we'll just have to look over that but let's go take a look at what this armor really looks like uh this is my dex caliber uh also the tanocon 2018 display this this little simple guy here very tasteful very home decor if you will very tarje so uh let's go ahead and hop in here let's take a look at the appearance and uh see what we're what we're working with here so if we go to the attachments um like i said this is the chest piece the leg plates at the bottom down there which are uh actually really really nice um and then like i said uh unfortunately there is uh no cyan donna so let's take a look let's double check let's be sure uh, the Abrasis was stuck. Mako, Scarab, uh, Salix, Megar, Izvara. Yeah, so no Cyan Donna with this one. So let's take a look at the attachments here, though. So let's go to the chest plate first. Um, as you can see here, um, it is it's very pointed. It actually works with the Dex Caliber skin. It almost complements the Dex Caliber in, in a lot of ways. Um, you have the shoulder pieces, which appear to sort of have, they look like they're floating, but they're actually attached at the shoulders and they swoop back right here. So I actually really like them. Um, they add a little bit of oomph. Uh, and then these, I like these a lot. Um, these remind me uh, very much of da, 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 like the Aos, uh, not the Aos Spurs. Uh, these remind me very, very much of the uh, the ankle plates in a way. They they protrude, and I like that. I like when there's like just sort of it's not just like bolted on armor. I like when it's sort of got this swoop to it, this sort of uh, external feel. That's why I like the Daedalus Spurs as well, or I'm sorry, the Daedalus Spurs. Um, but so so yeah, that's kind of what I like there. Now, obviously, the the frame that I run the most in this game is Gara. Uh, I run Gara more than anything, um, so let's take a look at our, let's do Orokin Gara. Oof, gonna have to redo our display, uh, but let's take a look at the attachments on Gara. So, um, we don't have a chest plate, I usually don't do chest plates, but let's take a look at what this looks like. Now on Gara, it goes a little low because of where everything stands on her. Now, I will say for the attachments, if you use a white color, if you use the exact same color for your attachments, I will say these attachments, the chest pieces, they are much brighter in color than anything else. So if I were to stay with that, um, very similar to the Ceramica, we would actually have to dull that color to match Gara. Don't know if I'm going to use that because it just it doesn't look quite right. It feels very weird uh, as far as the chest plate's concerned. Uh, let's take a quick look at what the Tenocon shoulder plates look like on Gara specifically. Very tiny. Very, very tiny. Um, not terrible. Uh, but very, very tiny um, because of her already uh, linebacker-esque uh, looking, looking shoulder. So not terrible there. Um, so let's go ahead and equip those guys. I do like those a lot better. So those are super, super nifty. I do like that. We run Gara a lot. So uh, what else? What other frame could we do? Let's go to our default loadout and... We'll do one more frame customization. Um, we can take a quick look at a uh, Nasia that I have here. Uh, so we can work with Nasia. I've been running a lot of Nasia lately. So let's take a look here. We got Bunny Nasia, of course. 
Of course, why wouldn't you? Uh, and we can look at those attachments here. So let's look at the uh, chest plate on Nasia. How does that look? Interesting, not terrible. Not terrible. Um, I don't actually like Nija's chest piece inherently, um, but this will require us to change some of the uh, colors on it. So uh, let's take a quick peek at this, I, I believe. So you can change one of two things. You could change this to make it like, a, you know, if it wanted to match, I wanted to make it like white, we do that. So that works pretty well. Uh, now let's change the strings to the Tenocon. And I'm already liking how these work really, really well. Um, unfortunately, it does clip through the ring uh, on Neja, at least on one side. It's going to depend on your stance, of course. Um, so, uh, yeah, whatever whatever animation you're using, that's going to that's going to change that a little bit. But uh, and then on his legs, uh, it actually ends up being right above his his leg loops, if you will. So. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's, I really actually like it. Um, it's not going to fit every frame though. It's just not going to work on every single frame. It's not going to happen. Um, but it is, it is very nice. I do like it. Um, so, uh, that being said, uh, let's take a look at the glyph real quick. Um, so we can go down to our profile. Uh, let's take a look at the glyph and let's see where that is at here. Cause I've not seen it yet. This will be news to both of us. All of us, all two, all two of us, everybody who's watched this video, just the two of us. Tenocon 2018 glyph, oof, oof, baby boy, that's looking nice. That is looking nice. Okay, let's let's go down here real quick. Let's go down here to the old the old room here, our bare bones looking room. I know, I know, we out here getting it like everybody else, but all right, let's go to the equipment and landing craft decorate. And we will go ahead and we'll just remove my glyph and let's put that one up on the wall. Um, I'm very excited to do that. So let's do boops, boops. And I like it. Look at that. That thing is very cool. Very cool. Big fan. I am a big fan of that. So, um, but yeah, those are what you can get for $20 if you cannot go to TennoCon. Of course, the big the big prize there would be the Baro Katir uh, access to get anything he's done before. Of course, if you do plan on getting this on April 3rd, go ahead and start saving up ducats because it is going to be an expensive, expensive run to borrow if you uh, have been missing out, if you haven't been getting certain things. And I do wonder, are we getting prime target cracker? Probably not. Probably not, but it'll be interesting to know. So if you guys did enjoy the video, thank you guys for being around here. Like I said, this is just to show off some of the stuff you can get for the $20 if you can't fly your butts all the way up to Canada because that is an expensive flight. Uh, if you guys want to check us out, again, twitch.tv slash cooperatives where we stream five days a week exclusive Warframe content for now with more variety in the future. And of course, if you enjoy the content, you want to go on over to patreon.com slash cooperatives. You want to get these videos early if you would like to, uh, you know, uh, see some of the other perks over there regarding uh, sort of getting to hang out and stuff like that. Uh, it'll be a good time. So thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoy the content and I will see you over on Twitch or in the next video.